so it's like at the end. Of, yeah, but yeah. I started late too. Um, I didn't turn professional until I was 28, I think. Wow. Um, when was your first uh, amateur fight? I think I was like 20, 26. Really? Yeah. So when did you start training? Well, so I did Taekwondo since I was a little kid. Started 12 years old doing that and competed junior Olympics, Olympics, you know, wearing the hogus and all that kind of stuff. Did all the traditional Taekwondo tournaments. And I used to get kicked out of some of these things because I'd throw punches or I'd <laughs> throw too hard. Like I remember one time my mom ended up getting into this huge argument with this guy because I was hitting her son too hard in a martial arts competition. Oh, God. Parents. But I, oh, dude. <laughs> and my Sports mom is parents. like the sweetest woman in the world. But as soon as somebody talks ill of me or steps to me, my mom's ready to throw down. She's the one who taught me how to fight, man. Wow. Yeah, I got, I, I got stories about mom. But I did that all the way through until I was in college. And you were... And then um, I went to acting school. Yeah, you were a theater major. I went to school for theater, yeah. yeah. And I kind of stopped training hardcore, but still taught karate at the school that I got my black belt at when I was a kid while, while going to school in Philly for acting. I was still teaching the little kids. Oh. And then I was working professionally in like the Philadelphia theater scene, which isn't anything major, but there's some good professional theater companies there. I was doing that for a little while. And in the summers, the theater's they're, they're dark. There's not much going on. And a buddy of mine that I used to train with took an amateur fight. And I used to kind of get the better of him. And he went and did well on this amateur fight down in, uh, down in Atlantic City. New breed fighting is what it was called. And I was like, I could, I could do that. So I waited a whole year, did the next summer, signed up for one of those fights. And dude, that was it. That walkout. The crowd, like all your friends and family being there, you're walking out to fight somebody else. I, I remember having migraines. I remember like vomiting afterwards. I was so anxious, so nervous, and I won. And I remember telling all my acting friends at the time we were we were drinking in like the back of somebody's uh, like South Philly row home, and they're like, "That was crazy, man. Are you done?" And I was like, "Fuck no." I was like, "I have to do that again, and I have to do it better than I did that time." And so. A year later, I signed up for another one following summer, new breed, but I knew what to do now. So I trained properly. I went to a Muay Thai school to train for it. I did jujitsu for it, and I beat the crap out of this kid in my second fight, leg kicked the dog shit out of him. And it was a decision, but I was like, all right, that was cleaner. Then I did another one, and now I thought I was too cool for school, and I got choked out in my third amateur fight, got triangle choked by this kid, Max Bohannon, who was like a prodigy from, um, he was from um, Ricardo Almeida's school and trained with him and he choked the shit out of me. And then I was like, okay, now I got to start doing real grappling and real jujitsu. And I started training with jujitsu schools and stuff like that. And I did one more amateur fight, spinning back kick to the liver. I knocked this kid out in my fourth amateur fight. And then I went pro because the rules in PA, shin guards, Mm. big huge puffy gloves two minute rounds mm. the hell are you supposed to do as a striker with two minutes you're a wrestler you get one takedown you won the round that's yeah. it so when i turned pro i was like okay i'll do one pro fight just to say i was a pro athlete you know just to say <laughs> that i did it honest to god that's why i did it i was like i'm going to go back to acting and i was still doing professional shows in between getting ready for fights won the fight flying knee TKO the dude, they took him out on a stretcher. It was for CFFC. They had to stop the show because they only had one ambulance. Oh, wow. So the ambulance had to take the guy, and shout out to him, Toomey Goodrum, you're still the man, but they took him out, and uh, they had to wait for the ambulance to come back. So I'd, I'd stopped the show in my first... Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> my first pro fight. One yeah. ambulance? And it took him out on a yeah they took him out on a stretcher. No, but I mean so, one ambulance. One ambulance, crazy. yeah. And they never did that again. Yeah, they never did that again. <laughs> I, you know, if anything, I I show them you need to have two ambulances at these things. So you get some fights in some small organizations. Yeah, and then how old? mainly mainly Cage Fury, who uh, you know, thank God that's that's kind of who I stumbled upon. So I was already kind of with one of the better regional promotions to begin with. I lucked out with that. I fought in Pittsburgh, I think. Once or twice, and then, um, yeah, and I fought for CFFC. And how many fights did you have before you got into the UFC? I was 8-0. No. I was 8-0 no when, when I got signed. I, uh, I think I had like six knockouts. 
a bunch in the first round, and that's when I started putting the acting like way on the on the back burner. I was like, wow, I, I might actually be able to get into the UFC. It was n- that that was never. I mean, never the goal was was to get in the UFC from the beginning. But then once I started winning, I always trained my ass off, you know, j- just like I am with triathlon or with ev- whether it be acting, whether it be fighting, commentary. Like, I'm trying to put myself into it. And uh, it, the wind started coming, and then I remember I knocked out um, this kid in, in um, Atlantic City in my last fight with CFFC, a spinning hook kick to the... Yeah, this is... This is yeah. a, Bam. Oh, and look, I I got more damage from the ref throwing me into the into the cage than I did in that whole fight. What did you weigh here? That's one fifty five. I was just smaller. 